I've always thanked you. They give you praise for your word. They honor your name, Jesus. They exalt you, Abba. Thank you, Jesus. There's a deal. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The song of the ready writing. As we were praying, I kept hearing the song of the ready writing. Psalm 5, verse 1. Hearts is overflowing with a good thing. I recite my composition concerning the king. My tongue is the pen of the ready writer. Like the psalmist here is feeling the inspiration and the knowledge that I got from this is that the, you will be inspired by the Lord. Yeah, even even as I was meditating on the word, the, the Yoruba it was the Yoruba word that I got that in Yoruba is called akosile where you will say a thing as will, and it will become a reference where because your words are inspired by the lord what is manifesting and what is being spoken will be the same and every time your word goes forth it's not just your word but the word of the lord because those words are inspired by him, and as a writer myself, uh, I I I know what it means when you say a ready writer, a pen of the ready writer. If if you're inspired as a writer, you can sit down and speak as someone that it has happened to before. You can sit down and, and finish a book. Just just keep writing, and and. It would just is a flow, is a flow. And then I, I believe there are scribes here that can that, that understand what I'm saying also. Because then you won't want to break out of it. There are times when I'm writing and I can't get up, but I have a call or whatever. I can't do anything else because there's a flow. You're just sitting there and your hands are moving. What's in your, your what's what's in your thoughts? is just flowing out and so there will be that flow for you the lord is making your tongue the pen of a ready writer the manifestation of the things around you and that which you have said will become the same because then your word becomes something people can reference again taking us to what the lord told us in this season where when you start to speak, you can only speak, thus saith the Lord. Thus saith the Lord. If you look at the watchmen in the scriptures, you see the same happening to them. Ezekiel 2 verse 2, as he spoke to me, the Spirit of the Lord entered into me and set me on my feet. And I heard him speaking to me. Jeremiah 1 verse 9, then the Lord put forth his hand and touched my mouth. And the Lord said to me, behold, I put my words in your mouth. Jeremiah 1 verses 4 to 9, then the word of the Lord came to me saying, before I formed you in the womb, I knew you, before you were born, I sanctified you, I ordained you a prophet to the nations. Then said I, ha, Lord God, behold, I cannot speak for I am a youth. But the Lord said to me, do not say I am a youth, for you shall go to all 
to whom I send you, and whatever I command you, you shall speak. Do not be afraid of their faces, for I am with you to deliver you, says the Lord. Then the Lord put forth his hand and touched my mouth. And the Lord said to me, Behold, I have put my words in your mouth. I have put my words in your mouth. I have put my words in your mouth. Jeremiah 26 verse 2. Thus says the Lord, stand in the court of the Lord's house and speak to all the cities of Judah which came to worship in the Lord's house. All the words that I command you to speak to them. Do not diminish your word. Jeremiah 29 then said I, then I said, I will not make mention of him, nor speak any more in his name. But his word was in my heart, like burning fire shot up in my bones. I was weary of holding it back, and I could not. The pen of a ready writer. The pen of a ready writer. Jeremiah 28, 3, 28, the prophet who has a dream, let him tell a dream. He who has a word, my word, let him speak my word faithfully. Jeremiah 1, 10, see, have this day set you over the nations and over the kingdoms to root out, to pull down, to destroy, and to throw down to build and to plant. You talk like the pen of your edge writer. The Lord is equipping the watchman. <laughs> Was a watchman without the tongue that can speak as the Lord speaks. Be careful what you say. Like Ezekiel, do not speak until you are instructed to. This is the word of the Lord to us this day. promise of the tongue of a red writer. And how will we receive this word? In the mighty name of Jesus. Sanctify us. The Lord will speak only after the other of God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Psalm 128. The scripture the Lord laid in my heart as we were praying. Psalm 128. <sighs> Thank you, Jesus. Give me a Bible. Blessed are all those who fear the Lord, who walk in obedience to Him. You will eat the fruit of your labor. Blessings and prosperity will be yours. Your wife shall be like a fruitful vine within your house. Your children will be like olive shoots around your table. Yes, this will be the blessing for the man who fears the Lord. May the Lord bless you from Zion. May you see the prosperity of Jerusalem all the days of your life. May you live to see your children's children. Peace be upon Israel. If you have your Bibles, let's just read that together and claim those blessings. 
Oh yes, someone trading it. I get to verse six. Just put your name there. Just claim this. Claim this. Let's go. Blessed are all those all who fear the Lord, who walk in obedience to Him. I, please, judge, will eat the fruits of my labor. Blessings and prosperity will be mine. My family will be like a fruitful vine within my house. My children will be like olive shoots. Are you there around my table? Yes, I will be. This will be the blessing for peace, George, who fears the Lord. May the Lord bless me from Zion. May I see the prosperity of Jerusalem all the days of my life. May I live to see my children's children. Peace be upon George family. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Father, we thank you for your word today. And we bless your holy name.